Hi, this is Andrea from Club Sci Kids. Now that you've learned all about insects and bugs and looked at them, learned some really cool facts, we're now going to make a simple um, bug house that you can make. So as you're outside collecting bugs, you have a place to put them. Now the important thing that I'm sure you all know is that when you make a bug house, it can't just be a sealed container because they need to have some oxygen to breathe. At the same time, you don't want gaping holes because they can get because they can get in and out. Um, so what I'm just showing you a simple kind. If you want to look on the internet, there's all sorts of different bug houses you can make. You can even just use a regular plastic cup if you want to. Um, just something that you can kind of get them and then a lid to put on. Um, if you have any mason jars that have the screw tops, um, those will work as well. Um, so let's get started. Um, ask mom or dad to help you. I'm using a Starbucks cup. Um, a cup really works well. If you have a toilet paper or a paper towel tube, you can even use that or an empty cereal box or an empty tissue box. Um, again, this one you can really use a recycled item. For. I had my cup and I made a doorway and also a window. Um, I used an X-Acto knife, so kids, this is what mom and dad need to help you with. Um, and what we're going to do is, ideally you could use like some window screen or even some tool because it's um, it has holes, but yet it's still fabric and bugs really can't get through. Chances are you probably don't have extra roll of screen or um, tool laying around at home. So what I'm using is an old um, nylon nylon pantyhose whatever you want to call them kiddos please ask your moms before you um, go into the drawers and take any of these so we need to be able to have the top accessible so that we can put the bugs in it's easiest to do it from the top so what we're going to do is we'll cut a piece of nylon to put over the top and instead of taping it which would make it difficult to get it on and off we're going to use the lid but First, what we need to do is we need to cut the inside of the lid out so that it's still exposed so that the air can get in and out. And I also had talked about how if you wanted to, you could use a mason jar. A mason jar works well because if you take the, um, the flat piece out, you can just twist the top on and then you have this displayed. The first step is to um, decide where you want your doors and your window. Um, and then do some decoration on the cup if you'd like. If you really wanted, you could get some spray paint, spray paint it, but again, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, as fancy as you want it to be. The next thing that you're going to do is you need to cut out nylons, um, a piece that will fit over the top, and then a piece for each of your windows and your doors. So go ahead and cut those out. Okay, I have my pieces. Um, this will be the piece, the bigger one that will go over the top. And we have my lid that has the hole. So this way, once you have your bugs, you just snap it down. And then that way it's easy to take on and off. And what I will do is I'll just go through and cut this a little bit more so I don't have so much hanging down. Um, and now you take these pieces and you can also, again, cut them down as you get closer, but we'll use tape to tape them on. So go ahead and tape um, your screen over your windows and your doors. You can see that I've taped on the front and also the back and even though it doesn't look like the mesh does, air can still get in and out of here and nothing will be able to escape. Um, if you don't have tape, you can also use some hot glue or some glue. You just have to have mom or dad help you so you don't burn your fingers because the hot glue will come right through here. So you need to be careful um, if you do it. And again, what you can do is I can take my scissors and I can cut um, this out around so we don't have so much hanging off um, just to make it look a little bit nicer. So here is a super simple bug home. That way when you go outside, you can take off the lid, collect your bugs, then you can put them in. You just got to put this back over the top and then you put on your lid and then that way they can still breathe and you can still keep them and watch them for a couple of days. Um, I'd love to learn about the different bugs that you've collected and I hope you have a good time and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.